It was uh, 75 tons of marijuana. I'm going to tell you a little crime story now. The last deal I did was from Vietnam. I purchased 75 tons of marijuana from the Vietnamese military. La última, el último negocio que hice con la droga fue comprar 75 toneladas de marihuana de Vietnam. Se lo compré a las fuerzas militares de Vietnam. That's how the world works, it really does. Así es como funciona el mundo, se los aseguro. When I worked in Colombia, it was exactly the same. And anywhere that supplies drugs, you know that there's a corrupt government or police force that participates in that supply. En Colombia era exactamente igual. En realidad, en cualquier lugar que abastece drogas, siempre hay un gobierno o una fuerza policial corrupta que se ocupa de abastecer. So I, I was in the pop business and I had a good time. I had a lot of fun. I loved my life. But I had a problem. I had a cocaine problem. I was a drug addict. And I couldn't stop doing cocaine. Yo estaba en el negocio de la marihuana y la verdad que me divertía, amaba mi vida, pero tenía un problema, que era un problema de adicción a la cocaína. No podía dejar de consumir cocaína. The last deal that I did uh, was worth 250 million dollars. And so I ended up with too much money and not enough brains. El último negocio que hice fue de 250 millones de dólares y terminé con demasiado dinero y muy poco cerebro para usarlo. So I took some of that money and I went and bought myself a kilo of cocaine, thinking that if I bought a kilo, I wouldn't have to go buy it in little pieces. But you see, I never did cocaine in little bits. Whenever I did coke, I did it until it was all gone. So eight days after I bought that kilo, I had a heart attack from a cocaine overdose. Entonces, lo que hice es tomar todo ese dinero y me compré un kilo de cocaína, porque dije, bueno, compro todo junto, así no lo tengo que estar comprando en muchas partes. Pero lo que me pasaba es que nunca era poco para mí con la cocaína. Siempre tenía que consumirla toda hasta que se terminaba. Entonces, después de ocho días, luego de comprar ese kilo, tuvo un ataque al corazón por una sobredosis de cocaína. She's good, eh? I can tell. So, I was pronounced dead at the scene. My friend found me. And I spent a month in hospital. And I, I didn't want to live like that anymore. I had three children who I was disappointing. I had a wife who I was disappointing. I was hurting them, I was breaking their hearts. And so when I had the heart attack and I fell to the floor, I remember something, the force of life, saying to me that you can live or die, it's up to you. But if you choose living, you have to do it all differently. 